Hey, <laughs> how you doing? You mind if I sit here? Awesome. All right, man, it's been a little minute. <laughs> you think so? It has been a little minute, hasn't it? Man, oh man. I'm very, very sorry, man. I, I truly, truly apologize yet again. Yeah, I haven't posted in two weeks on this channel, as you can probably tell. I'm really tired. I, had, I smoked way too much last night. So I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit hungry, as you can tell. Um, I'm in a hotel, so I don't have a kitchen. You know what I mean? Do you like my Under Armour? Thank you very much. I got this. Cheers. We got a Perfection Bar Crunchy. And this is literally what I've been eating the past <laughs> three days that I've been there. Fucking protein bars, bro. They're charging 20 bucks for breakfast. You, no, I'm, I, I'm, no, I'm alright, man. Thank you. Trust me. I don't know why it has these weird pimples on it. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me on this one. It's fire. We got a pizza. So I met up with this with this lady last night. Really, really cool vibe. She was really fucking awesome, bro. She was really cool. And uh, we decided to get some pizza. But I, I think I may have ordered the wrong one. Or like they gave the wrong one. So we got leftover pizza. How <laughs> fucking convenient, bro. I'm really hungry, man. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. The picture was fired last night. <laughs> 25 bucks though. I was like, hmm. We wanted Domino's because we were smacked. Turns out it wasn't open at 11 o'clock at night. So this was the only place and it arrived at 1 in the morning. So why am I in a hotel? That's a good question you, you're asking me, Ryan. It's honestly not, not weird at all, bro. I'm going to be dead as honest. I get why you ask. Mm. Just be quiet for one minute. Oh my god. The leftover pizza. I know you've had it in your life once at least. And if not, man, shame on you. Shame on you. It's fucking delicious. Long story short, some bullshit been going on at home for a, for a long time, progressed into worse, and I took the measurement and said, I'm going for a week. See y'all later. Just kidding, that's not how I went, no. My mom said, hey, if you want to go for a week, I understand. I could take some time off. I said, cool, I booked this hotel, free parking, that's why I got this one. And it's a four star, so that's why I got it as well. Cheesy crushed my ass. There's no fucking cheese in there, bro. Maybe because it's not. Whatever. Whatever. I'm in Berghoff zone right now. And I have to say. Awesome. Why not Brabant, you may wonder? I've got a few people living there. That's why. That's why. I met up with one of the boys yesterday. Went to basic fit gym together. Smoked with him a little bit. Cool guy. Really cool guy, man. Meeting up with this guy tomorrow. After he comes back from Rotterdam. Because he lives here as well. In the neighborhood, apparently. Smoked with him for a bit. Then I'm going to Rotterdam. Meeting up with Jimmy. Which, you know who Jimmy is. Just to go to school with him. Me and Jimmy are, are actually good. Yeah, we've been speaking... I'll be honest, I'm not going to lie. We started speaking again, I think... Uh, two months ago So we cool I mean we've always been cool We've always had a You know I mean it's normal friendship Disagreement right It's very normal Every every friendship Relationship has disagreements And instead of him Going with a friend To the Efteli Which I haven't gone to In like holy shit How long was that? Yeah. Yeah, three years ago. For my 18th birthday. Bro, I'm 21 in two months' time. 22, sorry. That's crazy. I'd honestly love this. By the way, don't eat too much of this. Makes the poop. 
And it's funny because this is one of the only few affordable bars that I find good. Are the ingredients good? <laughs> no, don't let any of you see these. This is shit, wake up. You know what I mean? It, it, I mean, the ingredients are ridiculous. I never understand it with protein bars. Why the ingredient list is so fucking long and exaggerated. It, it's honestly... <laughs> Dude, this thing has so many ingredients. Whoa, dude. It's probably got like 50 ingredients. Won't kill you, though. Don't get it twisted. It's just sweetener, bro. It is just pure sweetener. But it's nice. It's nice, though. This is cookie ch white chocolate flavor. This one's always sold out because it's the best one. I was going to say something, but then I completely forgot. I don't know. I forget a lot lately, man. Sometimes it's good that I forget, honestly. The view I have is amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm doing everything Saturday with her. Pretty cool. That is good. Mm. That's great, man. I thought I'd take a nap, but I was like, nah, bro, if I sleep now, I won't sleep tonight. So I'm trying to stay active and not fall asleep. That's the issue. If I fall asleep right now, I won't, I won't be able to sleep tonight. I gotta say, the view is very nice. I'm, I'm at the water. I didn't even know I booked a, a room with a, a view like this. But I'm glad I did. Cool, you can hear the bike, you can hear the bike through the room. I think it's awesome. Mm. So what's back in the zone like? Honestly, it's alive. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's an understatement. It's really nice. People are friendly. I just, I get a real good feeling about this place. You know what I mean? I Man, the cheese crust is fucking terrible. Like, they, they hardly put any cheese in it, bro. Hardly any. What if I microwave it? Nah. Nah. You know the rules. Bro, speaking of that, you must have had like the fastest fall off ever, Bevo. He's already falling off. I, I fucking told you guys from the moment, right? Once he started gaining popularity, watch him fall off really quickly. And that's the thing with TikTok. I've, I've said this always. You see, being popular or successful on a platform like TikTok can make or break someone, right? A lot of people that used to be really big on TikTok like three, four years ago, right? COVID was peak. It was also my peak, I'll be honest. Like, yeah, there, of course it was peak. Like Edison Ray, for instance, or Ray Edison, whatever her name is. I don't hear a single thing about her no more. Charlie Emilio, whatever. Who's that? Like that, that retarded like sibling. The retarded siblings. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't care neither. But like, I said this since the start. The, the whole Bevo thing was funny because none of us really knew. Is he taking the piss out of this whole food thing or is he genuinely doing this on purpose? Turned out that his father was the mastermind behind this entire thing. But ever since he's dated or is dating that like Sophia, the, uh, the girl that does OF as well, his ego has gone through the roof. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still a TikToker, bro. You're a fucking nobody. That's the unfortunate truth. Were you a YouTuber? That's a whole different thing. You're a TikToker, bro. Humble yourself a little bit, man. And before you say 
you just made this gut clap, bro. I've had a career for nearly eight years on this platform. I'm good, bro. I don't care about clout. I've got my own fan base. I've got people that still watch me. I've got hundreds of thousands of people watching me still every month. Sure, it didn't it's not like I used to be, you know, where I got two, two, two to four million views a month. But I'm still doing good. And you got to understand, bro, I'm not uploading as much as I used to as well. Because, yes, somewhere it's like, all right, cool. I post whenever I feel like it. There's no pressure on me. Back as a kid, a lot of pressure, bro. I used to go to high school, this and this and that. And I wanted to upload a lot because I, I genuinely enjoyed it. And when, when things like that go good, you see your channel running well, it motivates you more as well. I'm not saying I'm, I'm motivated. It's just I want to do stuff outside of this as well, you know. But anyways, besides that, follow me on TikTok. Once in a blue moon, the algorithm actually works wonders for me and gives me a little bit of views, which is cool. Which till this day, I don't know how the fuck the algorithm on TikTok works, bro. I genuinely don't get it. I don't know. Like, TikTok algorithm is so weird for me because I'm not invested in TikTok, right? I'm, I'm never on TikTok. I don't find TikTok cool or fascinating whatsoever. But I always wonder, like, when I do these stitching videos, these reaction videos, I don't sit behind my laptop and think, oh, man, please blow up. I don't give a damn, bro. It either does something or it doesn't. Even if it gets 300 views, hey, I don't care, bro. Still 300 views. I, I, I put Parmesan on this yesterday. Don't taste it. Really fuck it. Didn't even put Parmesan on it. No. Oh, well. Tomorrow is Friday. That's scary, bro. Holy shit. Time goes fast, man. Honestly, it does. Enjoy life while you can. It's okay. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the view for a moment. I hope you don't mind. You know, I gotta say, it's actually quite fascinating looking over a highway, counting and tracking the cars. I reckon if you'd sit here from like 12 o'clock at midnight till 12 o'clock at midnight, you'd probably see thousands of cars. I'd reckon probably a few hundred every every hour. Easy on a highway like this. It's quite a... And that's the thing about North Brabant is it's so nicely connected. You're, you're close to the border of Belgium. You're relatively close to the border of Germany, like two, like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on what side of the country. And let's not forget, Rotterdam is 35 minutes, bro. That's, that's nothing, dude. Exactly. Sorry, I thought my frame rate was were dropping. My bad. Rotterdam is 35, 40 minutes for me, bro. That's nothing. Honestly, really close. Mm. I don't know why I bought this. It is actually quite scary when you really look at a package like this, like it does have an insane amount of degrees. Holy shit. I wanna count it, but then also now. God damn. <laughs> but I wouldn't I don't eat this every day. I only bought this so I can maintain my protein intake. Same for the chicken, which is fucking delicious, by the way. I just don't get why they add dextrose to it. Like, why do you gotta add sugar to chicken? What's the logic behind that? I mean, it's still a gram of sugar in this. It's not a lot, obviously, but like, there's no reason for it. Very interesting. Don't know why it's got these weird blisters now. It's fucking weird, bro. 
kind of fucked up if you think about it, bro. Imagine you're just being a uh, minding your own business and then you get like put in an oven. Thanks. <laughs> I don't want this. Garlic and pizza is weird, bro. Alleen Turken geven je altijd knoflook bij een pizza. Ik zweer het, joh. Bro, dat doen ze altijd, man. Dat vind ik zo geweldig aan, aan, aan Turkse mensen. Je bestelt een pizza en krijg gewoon een fucking hele bak knoflook. Dat vind ik zo gaaf. Anyway, dat is een heel nice pizza. It wasn't bad. Little thumbnail. I'm retarded. Wait. <laughs> I'm not high right now. I don't think so. Of course I'm not. This is a cute thumbnail. Ah. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry if I'm not energetic. Uh, I'm just tired, man. I've done quite a lot these past few days, man. I've been hunting... Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I went to Rurmon yesterday. To the outlet, you know. Got some Burberry, got some Adidas, got some Montclair. I went into the Dolce and Cabana store and oh my god. You know, ever since Stefano Cabana and his husband the broke up, the brand has gone to absolute shit absolute shit, bro. I walked in there and I was like, what the fuck is this? Am I in a circus? What is this crap that I'm goddamn looking at? Way too colorful, bro. I'm like, ain't no motherfucker gonna wear this. What the fuck is this, man? We're not in America that people dress up like retards with these colorful outfits. I was like, no way. I used to love this brand. I used to love Dolce & Gabbana. I got shoes, I got pants, I got t-shirts. I got bags of Dolce & Gabbana. I was like, man, I'm curious, bro, because the last time I went to a Dolce Cabana store in Amsterdam, it was, it, was, it was crap. I walk in there and I was like, wow, this is a joke or something. This is a new season. This is crap. I went into Gucci. Oh, that was even fucking worse. Oh, my God, that was a joke on its own. Gucci as a brand is a joke on its own. Why the fuck would you buy that brand to begin with? It, it's got to be the most... Boring and ugliest brand in the world. I just went there because I was curious. I was like, maybe there is something that is interesting for me. I've never liked Gucci. I, I've never had a thing. My thing right now, bro, Casablanca. And I don't even wear it. I just buy it because I feel like it. <laughs> you know, I don't even wear it. I just collect. Oh, yeah. So I bought a Moncler uh, shoes, Moncler polo. Like the classic one, you know, not the bullshit one. Just a nice classic one. Burberry long sleeve, Adidas t-shirt, uh, I bought a Casablanca t-shirt, I bought a Palm Angels t-shirt, and I bought this literally a few hours ago, and I gotta say, they're very comfortable, yeah, the Montclair shoes are really dope, I like them, I didn't even know they sold Montclair shoes, I didn't even know there was a thing with Montclair, anyways, I do hope you guys enjoy it, what is this t-shirt, oh, this is one of my favorite t-shirts, it's like an elastic polyester i don't know how to describe it but it's real nice i hope you guys enjoyed it man um i think the next video should be a cooking one honestly bro i don't know at this point i really don't know i'm not gonna lie and say you know listen if i don't know the answer to the questions but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna try my best to not fall asleep just now i'm gonna really try my best uh can't promise though i might take a nap see the thing is it's already past five o'clock as i'm making this video I might have to make it an early night because I am I'm 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 excited to see my friends tomorrow, man. And that's actually the one thing about North Brabant is um, people are cool here. They really chill in general. Anyways, talking to much. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, man. Peace out.